Hey everyone, Daniel from Twin Bytes with another tutorial for you. And this time I'm going to talk about what to do if your email account was hacked. And it doesn't matter who your host provider is, what email address it is, there's some basics that you should cover. First off, I'd like to give a shout out to Sarah Benjamins and thanks for giving me that PayPal donation. Other than giving me a thumbs up, which doesn't cost you anything if you like my videos, giving a PayPal donation helps to keep me motivated to keep making more videos, spending time on them and improving them. Or you could even hit that thanks button down below and choose your donation anywhere from a dollar up to $500. So anyway, that's it. Let's jump into the video. So the important thing first to know is that if your email was hacked, it doesn't mean your computer was hacked and that there's a virus or anything in there. It just means your email account has been compromised. Even if you're not using webmail and you're using a program like Microsoft Outlook or Mozilla Thunderbird and it's on your computer, it still references a account that is in the web. So anyone can still go through the webmail portal to that email account and hack into it there. They don't need to go into your computer. So there's three main things that you got to do if your email account was hacked. The first thing is really changing your password and make sure you change it drastically. Don't just increase it by a digit. For example, you got password one, don't just change the one to a two or add another number to the end of it. That's too easily guessed, especially if it was already hacked, then the hacker already knows what the password is and they're gonna assume that you're probably doing that and sure enough, they'll get in. I've actually seen this happen before. Also, when you're changing your password, make sure you're following some basic rules like it should be at least eight characters long, have an uppercase letter, lowercase, a number and a symbol. The second thing to do is enable 2FA or two-factor authentication or some call it two-step authentication. Rogers I know is one that doesn't have that still to this day and I've got a few customers that are using Rogers email addresses and we're not able to secure their accounts. So you can either just live with that uh, knowing that you don't have that extra security or switch to another free service like Gmail which is a more stable, secure system to begin with, plus they do offer the two-factor authentication. If you're running a business, then you should check with your hosting company and they should definitely have that feature. If they don't, then you might wanna consider switching hosting companies. The third thing to do is get a hold of all the contacts in your address book and tell them that you were hacked and be careful not to click on any email that asks them to buy a gift card or send money or do something that it just sounds a little off and usually people will be suspicious of it even though they'll still follow through in some cases anyway they still there's a part of them that knows that something's not quite right so just let them know that you were hacked and to be careful and not click on anything or buy anything going forward there's a few extra things that you can do to try and protect yourself and avoid this from happening in the first place the first thing to do is change your passwords often not just for your email but you should do this for every web-based account that you have and for companies, a lot of them will have a security policy in place that forces them to change their passwords every 30 days. If you look at Gmail, for example, it'll have a date as to when the last time you changed your password. The second thing is you never want to use the same password twice and you don't even want to be something close to that. It should always be very different. The third thing is to not use any passwords that could be easily guessed by looking at your Facebook page. And a lot of people will be doing this because they want to have a password that's easy to remember. So they'll put in something that they like. And of course, what do you put on Facebook? Things that you like. So we might uh, have a hacker look at your Facebook page and see that you're into motorcycles. So they might try some of these make and models as the name that might be included in that password. So definitely don't be using something that can be easily guessed by looking at what your likes are on your Facebook page. And that's it for this video and I hope you did find it helpful. If you did hit that like button, consider subscribing even better, give it a super thanks and thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. 
Popeye for now. I don't even know how good that was, but... Uh...